In this example, we are asked to graph two functions, f of x and g of x. And then we need to do that through ordered pairs. So if you know the shortcut, that's great, but make sure you also know how to find the graphs of each of these, kind of in a sense going old school and using a t-table. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and find the values of f of x for each of my x's, as well as the values of g of x. And then we're actually going to plot them on the coordinate system on the right. So everywhere there's an x and f of x, I'm going to put in minus 2. So I'm going to get minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, and 4. And then I'm going to do the same thing for g of x, but what I notice is I've already found 2x. So I'm just going to take the numbers I got in f of x, and now I'm going to subtract 3 from each of those. So I kind of ran out of room. So minus 7, minus 5, minus 3, minus 1, and 1. And so these are now your ordered pairs for each one of your lines. So what I want you to do is I'm going to kind of get you started, and then I'm going to pause the video, and then you can come back and check. Remember, x is the horizontal, y is the vertical. You're going to go in the x first from the origin. So if it's positive, you go to the right. If it's negative, you go to the left. Same thing with y. If it's positive, you go up. If it's negative, you go down. So for instance, if I have negative 2, negative 4, I go to the left 2 and down 4 places. So I want you to finish all of f of x and g of x, then come back and check your answer. So now hopefully you've got yours graphed. I would hope that your lines are straighter than mine because you have a ruler on a tablet. This becomes really a pain. But the idea is, is that they are parallel to one another. A couple things to note. Make sure that you put arrows on the end of your lines to show that the lines continue to go. And also make sure you label which line is which graph. So for instance, I used kind of a pink to do the f of x and I used G, uh, greenish blue to do the g of x. So I need to make sure I label those accordingly. So what we notice is that they're parallel. So the whole purpose when we did this is that they are parallel lines and the other difference is that the g of x has been shifted down three units. So it's the same line only three units down on the graph.